this is just what the internet needed. Another how to do a local repository for Red Hat. I just saw a bunch of them when I looked, but most of them were in Hindi. So how about another English one? And this one's a little bit different. So uh, first of all, I'm going to start off by creating the directory that I'm going to put the RPM packages in. And RPM uh, stands for Red Hat Package Manager, if I recall correctly. Mector the dash P flag is going to tell it to create any directories that I don't already have. And when I built the machine, I wasn't paying attention and I put all of my free space into home. So this can be another directory if you want to. It's it's truly up to you where you're putting those. Now we need to mount the media, the CD-ROM. CD-ROM. And MNT directory is there by default when I had installs. And of course it's right protected read only because it's a CD. Um, and then we need to go into the look and there they are. So we're going to copy them. The capital R's are recursive. So if there were any subdirectories, just a habit of mine. Um, I don't think there are actually any subdirectories under packages. And the V is verbose, so I can see what it's doing. And we're going to select the target directory. And I'm going to leave that slash at the end. And this will start copying. Now I'll uh, cut the video here in a second so you don't have to sit around and wait on this. Not, uh, not too terribly long. Okay, now that the uh, copy finished, just a couple sanity check commands here. So, um, go into the packages directory and we'll do it ls minus one. Pipe that over to word count for wc minus l. 3,000, oh, excuse me, 4,372. Now let's go to the uh, destination directory. same command again. So we know we got them all. Okay, now that we've got the packages copied over to the hard drive, let's do a PWD to show you, you know, where they're at. Um, we have to install um, three of those packages the old-fashioned way with um, RPM, VH, and um, the first of which um, is uh, Delta RPM and it's going to tell me that it's already installed because I've just set this up already installed and the next one we need to install is the Python Delta RPM and last but not least the create package. And of course those are all installed. Now we can um, actually tell it to create the, um, the repo based off of the config files that we've got on there. Okay, so for the actual um, configuration file that makes all this possible. It's an Etsy. Yum repos dot D. And let's clean clear that off and do it again. Make it a little bit easier to read. Okay, so um, your name of your repo, because you can have multiple ones if you want. Um, and I just named it uh, it had enterprise. 
here's the important part about the base URL. I'll make sure to put it in quotes. Um, and then also notice there's actually three um, forward slashes there. And then the actual directory um, to where you've um, copied the .rpm files and make sure to finish that off with a slash. Right now we're not doing any type of um, signature check because I know I got those directly off the uh, distribution and that's pretty much it. So once you copy that into this directory then you would run the um, create command. Okay so now we're going to actually uh, create the repo. And this will take a little while. Um, it's not bad though. Although this may be a little bit faster than usual because I've got uh, two SSDs in this machine striped. And now we should be able to do a yum. can actually use the normal yum commands. Uh, say for example, uh, let's just pick something that um, I know I don't have on here. So we'll try the tracker. It finds all of the prerequisites that it needs. And installs them. If this helps, you guys have a great afternoon, day, morning, whenever you're watching this.